Loretta Lynch as the Reds are up in this one and we are off and rolling at Loretta Lynch, Moto number one for race 25, the 250C Limited. I just go, I want you to take note right now. Kids, I want you to take note. See how empty the announcer's tower is right now? No other announcers in the building. Next race is a 250 Pro Sport class. This place is going to be packed. We won't even be able to move. <laughs> so here we go, off and rolling into that first turn and through the whole shot forest as our 250C limited class sorts themselves out. And through the Ten Commandments, our leaders go. And we are getting it all dialed in. Looks like we've got a Husqvarna on point up front, at least in the uh, through the whole shot forest. That is a Yamaha, though. Ashton Aruda, who grabbed the whole shot on the number 18 machine out of Westport, Massachusetts. He's brought to us by Tech Service Race Team, as well as DC3 Suspension and Distinctive Auto Body and FXR. And now we sort it out up front to see who is going to uh, rise to the top as far as the elite competition. I see uh, Corey Altison, a rider that we've watched earlier in some novice class racing uh, out of Denham Springs, Louisiana, opening up in a top three position. But our front runners out here getting things sorted out. Not sure if that's Cole Roberts or Shades Powers that we might be looking at there. And maybe neither one, but uh, you are part of our race course we had and into the Camelback is like I always like to call it the Kawasaki Camelback into that uh, Thor sweeper turn right in front of Poly Sport Beach and here come your leaders right at you now and that is the 76 Just trying to make sure yes yeah, 76 machine in the early lead as he uh, made his way into that number one spot, Sage Powers out of Marietta, California. A 15-year-old Husqvarna rider on an AO Power Sports, Mike and Therese Craig, backed right. Intertribal race team and also Bell Helmet sponsored. A few, several 15-year-old riders in this class, believe it or not. Uh, getting late starts out there on the West Coast. Uh, looks like uh, a good start, though for your early leader in Sage Powers uh, on the West Coast, out on the West Coast out of Marietta, California, as he is leading this one through Whole Shot Forest, now back into Ten Commandments. Back there in the number two spot, Ashton Aruda, Corey Altus in, as we said, in the number three spot, Jace Hendricks in fourth, Landon Babcock in the number five spot, Cashton Selby in sixth, Kate Berry in seventh, Spencer Burley is eighth, Zach Longino, whom we saw some great uh, Rides out of in that uh, first moto earlier in one of our novice classes, running in the ninth place position. And Reese Hamill Lanen rounds out your top 10. Mason Ty, Adrian Majo, uh, Elijah Davis, Trayson Robinson, Parker Dickinson rounding out the top 15. And Deegan Gale, another rider that might be good to uh, be on the lookout for. Hey, Rodney. Finally, I wondered when you were going to pipe in there, little man. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> So what are you seeing so far? So I'm seeing the track is looking quite quite, quite good today. Moisture's really seems soaked into the dirt. Uh, looks like the riders are having a really fun day today. And, uh, hopefully it should be a good day of racing. And it is a good day of racing, no doubt about it, as we've already got a major battle going on. This is a battle in the top five that we're looking at coming off the big uh, monster sandy uh, sandstorm down through there. Yeah, it looks awesome. These guys are going at it today. And as we look and we see the number uh, of battle for the, looks like in the top five, and uh, looks like these guys are all bunched together. So uh, yeah. if they keep riding like this, maybe uh, two guys can get a little gap going and uh, maybe battle it out, and uh, we'll see what happens. Sage Powers, a 207.148. Ashton Aruda checking in at a 209.085. The gap 3.8 now between first and second. Corey Alderson, the man in the heat in his seat right now, turned to 211. And a 2.09 by Spencer Burley, your fourth place ride, is just 4.9 seconds back. So Altism was under pressure, now relinquishes some of that pressure. Don't know what happened there, but Jace Hendricks is in fifth. Kate Berry in the number six spot. Reese Hamelainen up to seventh now. Adrian Mayo, we're looking at eighth place. Landon Babcock is ninth. And Parker Dickinson now in the number 10 spot after we wrap up two. Yeah. Um Funny story, so Jace Heinrichs uh, lives out in Colorado, right right around where I live. And uh, yeah, I've been seeing him putting in the work and it's good to see it's paying off in the number five position. 
Now, is he one of the elite novice class riders around your neighborhood? I would say so. He's been winning quite a lot, and uh, as we see right now, he's riding quite well. So we'll see if he can make a few positions up and maybe get in that top three position. Absolutely. Ran a 213 there on lap number two, but solidified himself as a top five position there. So we'll be keeping an eye on Hendricks, the number 95. In fifth place, also uh, another rider uh, will be watching for. Watch out for Adrian Mayo, the number 34. Now, he posted up an eighth place position after two laps of racing, but was turning a 210 lap time, uh, just breaking into that top 10, into the eighth place position past Landon Babcock, Parker Dickinson, and also Cashton Selby, and a few other riders. Zach Longino dropping back to the number 13 position after holding on to a solid top uh, 10 position on lap number one. I'm seeing Sage Powers. I'm seeing a little gap opening up, and uh, I think he's putting down some uh, hot laps. And it looks like it's uh, it's opening up. It's opening him up a little gap. As we see, Heinrichs makes the pass on. It looks like Spencer Burley on the number 89 KTM machine. And uh, Heinrichs looking really good, looking really solid. Line selection is looking pretty good. And uh, oh, looks like he makes the pass back around. So good little battle for the, looks like the fourth and fifth position. <laughs> Heinrichs right now on having some heat from behind the number 45 of Cade Ferry is all over him. So Heinrichs needs to focus in and wow. try to throw down some good laps or uh, it looks like Cade he Ferry is going to try to make the pass. Looks like, did he just get by Spencer Burley for the fourth place position? Watching the 95 machine, he is working his way through some traffic right now. Oh, and one down, slowed him down. him down. Yeah, and that actually, he lost the spot that he just made up, it looks like there. So. Uh, Carnage in several different places, and man, this track is really getting gnarly. Uh, definitely showing a, a great race face for this first moto of the 250C limited class. For sure, Rodney. The track looks amazing right now. It's just super rough, super deep. Ruts look pretty solid. And uh, yeah, so it looks like uh, Heinrichs moves into the third slot. And I don't know, man. Sage Power's got a pretty hefty gap now. Sage Powers is, is opening it up. It's only about 3.7 seconds, but when you get the, ooh, ooh. Hein, looks like Heinrichs makes a big mistake, stalls the bike, going into Storyland. Oh, looks like we got a rider with a big mistake. <laughs> Lots of them going through there. That's how deep those ruts are. They're dragging those guys off the bike back there. So line choice is gonna be very critical, and also momentum. You've gotta keep that momentum and power through some of that stuff, and even sometimes momentum not going to be your friend as we've even seen guys like Evan Ferry get held up in a couple of these ruts out there. So just to, just to show you, I mean, it happens to the best of them out there. For sure. With the way the track is and how deep it is right now and how rough and how, how much moisture is in the dirt, you're definitely going to have to keep your momentum up or your bike's just going to get sucked into the ground. Well, we're just past the halfway point of this one. Just past the halfway point of this one right now, guys, as uh, actually about eight and a half minutes into this moto, as uh, once again, uh, you know, you're always looking for that little extra edge. How about a little armor reload? Be stronger, leaner, and faster than the competition with armor reload. This low lactose, high quality extended absorption protein complex even has MCT, the super fuel for your body. Armor reload is your complete protein complex, perfect for your everyday use to lose weight, repair muscle, and keep adventuring. Arma, ammunition for your body. Four laps deep in this one, and then after four, working on five, we've got Ashton Aruda now out front. Big mistake there by Powers, it looks like, as he drops to the number two spot. Loses about 10 seconds in that, but only five and a half seconds behind the new leader of Ashton Aruda, so it's not out of conception to think that he might pressure back to try to make that pass. Alderson's holding steady back in third and has been. Spencer Burley fourth, Kate Ferry in fifth, Ryder Bell in sixth. Bell had a, a phenomenal ride earlier this morning. Landon Babcock in seventh, Brandon Lynch in eighth, Adrian Mayo is ninth, and Brandon Sanchez now rounding out the top ten at uh, four laps complete. We are now nearly ten minutes into this 15-minute long moto, so about five more minutes left to go. We'll probably be seeing a two-lap board come out here soon. 
Yeah, Ronnie, right now it's coming down to crunch time. Pumping up, starting to get a little sore, starting to, muscles starting to get a little weaker. So right now, the guys who've put the work in this summer, it's definitely going to show right now in this hot day at Loretta Lynn's Amateur National. Absolutely. Just getting ready to make mention of that. I know it's still morning time, but the uh, heavy air out there and the humidity it still has to be really taxing as maybe even a midday race at, at some point, huh? Yeah, the humidity plays a key factor. Uh, it can be 85 degrees, and if it's super humid, it feels like it's 100 out. So these guys definitely going to try to conserve some energy for this last few minutes of this race and uh, try to not make too many mistakes. And uh, Ashton Arruda, five-second gap. Let's see if we can he can pull it on out for the win. Yep, so uh, actually a little bit faster that time than Sage Powers. Powers must have hit a wall of some sorts, which forced him into that mistake. Now he's still running a good solid 210, but not the 207s and 208s he was consistently laying down through the first three, four laps of racing. Uh, now Ruda is still, and he's been steady in that 209, 210, and it paid big dividends for him because right now he's got a six and a half second lead over the now second place ride of Sage Powers. Alderson, as I said, has been riding steadily in that third place position. He now has a near 11 second lead over Spencer Burley, and Ryder Bell rounds out the top five. But again, all eyes are still up front. You know, we got to wonder. Is Ashton Arruda going to be able to keep this pace that he's been throwing down since uh, basically the start of this race? And we check in with um, Arruda. He's actually an East Coaster out of Westport, Massachusetts, a tech service race team, DC3 suspension, distinctive auto body, and FXR rider. And not only that, he was your whole shot award winner, too. He lost that lead to Sage Powers, who held on to it for about three, almost four laps. Then he regains the lead. That's going to be a pretty good story to tell, yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean, uh, Aruda, maybe in the middle part of the moto, got a little tight, tensed up a little bit. Now it seems like he's relaxing and letting the bike do the work, and uh, it shows. He's got yeah. almost a 6.5-second gap and uh, looking really solid out there. You know, and, and that, that shows some really good skill for a rider to get the whole shot and then get past, and then he keep his wit about him and just ride his steady pace and just wait for the right moments to happen. It all unfolded for him. He did what he trained to do down here, get a good start, put himself in a great position, and let the race and fall in his favor. That's exactly what has happened for the 18 of Ashton Aruda now, as uh, he should be taking a white flag this uh, next time around. And uh, that will, of course, uh, give him uh, just barely over two more minutes before he can claim checkers and a Moto One win here. And as we well know, these uh, last laps, especially in these heat and uh, high pressure circumstances uh, of being a, a novice class rider here and your first time at the Dude Ranch and on the verge of winning your first Moto, you know there's a lot of nerves shaking loose on this final lap. This is the longest final lap of his life. You know, uh, final laps are never good when you're out front, especially at Loretta Lynn. So. I'm sure he's uh, feeling the nerves right now and just wants this last lap to end. And, and I'm sure, you know, I, I see him do a little bit of a look, but you can see he has gone into way conservative mode. He hasn't slowed down, but he is riding conservatively right now, not attacking, but just uh, letting the racetrack come to him, just trying to get through this final lap, like you said, the longest lap of his career right now. Probably his first last lap led at Loretta Lynn's, and the nerves, the and everything that, that goes along with it, but also the anticipation and the excitement and the joy of knowing that all the hard work that you've been doing is paying off, at least in this first moto. And so you're just trying to keep it all collected. So now comes not only the physical preparation, but the mental preparation that you put yourself through here at Loretta Lens. Does it all bode together in your favor? And right now it looks like it most certainly is for Ashton Aruda, the number 18 Yamaha, who is less now than a half a lap away from a Moto One win at the biggest race of his career. Yeah, he's looking super solid out there. I mean, hitting all his lines, not making too many mistakes, not looking back, staying right over the bike, and uh, I think he's going to take this one. Last lap, we see some changes in this one. Aruda and Powers and Altus and still in your top threes. Spencer Burley in fourth. There's Ryder Bell in fifth. Adrian Mayo in sixth. Landon Babcock in seventh, heading into the final lap. Brandon Lynch was eighth. Kate Ferry ninth. Braxton Vick rounded out your top ten. Then Deacon Gale, Brandon Sanchez, Marshall Bussey, Caden Gordy, and Seth Eubanks rounding out the top 15. And here, oh, lap Ryder goes down just after the, uh, the leader comes out of that big sweeper turn and into the Bermuda Triangle 
Not going to get sucked in on this one. The number 18 of Ashton Aruda takes a Moto 1 win in the 250 seed limited here at the Monster Energy AMA Amateur National Motocross Championships as he heads to the podium and sat to talk to uh, Jason Wygant and or Mikey Waynes down there. Sage Powers taking out the number two spot. Corey Altazit in the number three spot. They will go to the podium with uh, gold, silver, and bronze. Ryder Bell moves into the number four spot. On that final lap was Spencer Burley, who held so solidly to fourth place through the entire moto, dropping to fifth. Uh, Adrian Mayo now in that, uh, I believe, number six spot. Should see Babcock, Lynch, Kate Perry, and Braxton Vick as they check in. There's Mayo, there's Babcock. Lynch, Ferry, and Vic. And that's the way they will finish. No, no. Deegan Gale up to ninth. Kate Ferry drops to 10. Braxton Vicks drops to the number 11 spot. So that's going to wrap up our top 10 of the 250 seed limited class. And we're going to head down to the podium where we're about ready to uh, talk with a very excited, I'm sure, Moto One winner in this one of Ashton Aruda. Whole shot, dropped back for a few laps, waited for the time to come, and then kicked it in. Oh, yeah, he was pumped. I'm going to let him cool off here for just a second. But very excited as soon as he came across the line. I heard the panic rev once he was through the checkered flag. Sage Powers and Corey Altazin, also great rides to round out that podium. All right, that's all the rest they get. All right, you love it when they appreciate the work they put in and what they've accomplished by doing it. This guy was super pumped coming through. Let's hear it for Ashton Aruda. There you go. That's what we like when people win races and they know how important it is. You are panic revving, you are pumped, you're excited. Yes, I am. I'm speechless. <laughs> I was going to ask, how did you do it, but do you have any words? How did you get this done? I got a whole shot, uh, close to a whole shot, close yeah. enough. And then I just waited for him first to make a mistake and went by him. That was tough. He put a good race on. Well, you think you were close to the whole shot, but they're telling me you got it. So I'm going to hand this to you as well. Ashton Aruda, your Stasic whole shot winner. Yes. All right, how do you chill out over the next couple of days and ice this championship? I just sit in the camper. Okay. Yeah. Just stay cool. Don't waste any energy. Who do you want to thank, Ashton? I can't thank my family enough for getting me out here. It takes so much. Tech Service Racing, DC3 Suspension, Distinctive Auto Body, FXR, EKS Goggles, 60 Helmets, AP Construction. Man, just everybody else, thank you so much. Ashton Aruda, everybody, taking the win. All right, take a few photos if you want. Go cool off if you want. You're good. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, and he's going to. We're looking for uh, Sage Powers, second place. And third goes to Corey Altazin. So let's get Powers on up. There's Sage. Silver medal goes to Sage Powers. There you go. Whoop. Uh, how was that moto for you, Sage? Uh, it was really good. Got the, I got a whole shot. And then a few laps in, I dipped the right corner. And I got up. And just finished second, so I'm happy. Oh, yeah. So it's got to be good. Uh, first podium, I would imagine, at Loretta's, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you want to thank, Sage? Uh, Free the Peeps, Trees Craig, Mike Craig, my dad, um, Hoosier, Hoosier Tires. Oh, frick. Dude, I hate when I do this. Oh, yeah, Inner Tribal Race Team. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> I don't... Uh, thank you for all the other people, too. Okay. Uh, where are you from, by the way? Uh, California. Right on. Pretty cool. Making the long trip worth it with a silver. Let's hear it for Sage. Taking second. 
And I believe Corey Altison is our third place finisher. Let's bring him on up. It's sorry for Corey Altison. All right. I'll spin that around here. I'll stand right here in the middle. How was that moto for you, Corey? Uh, it was good. I just got a good start. Tried to hang on and just rode really smooth laps. All right. You proud of this one? Yes, sir. Who do you want to thank, Corey? Uh, mom, dad, grandma, dad, uncle, papa, real to Rob, helping me, and everyone else who helped me. Corey Altazin finishes third. Let's hear it for him. There you go. That's a big deal right there. Podium at Loretta's. And that's a wrap on 250C. Let's send it back up.